This session is about power solutions, and the product that we're going to talk about is integrated equipment. As this slide indicates, and as the name implies, integrated equipment is merely consolidating many of the distribution products that we sell individually, as seen on the left of the slide, into one enclosure and hence one piece of equipment. The photo on the right is for a very large retail chain customer and shows the following components into, in this case, an IPC2, Integrated Power Center 2. And we'll define integrated power centers in more detail later on. Looking at the photograph on the right, starting in the upper left-hand corner, that is an eyeline panel board which is 480Y, 277, three-phase, four-wire for protection of large motors, et cetera. And directly below that, as well as the top of the middle section, are two NF panel boards, which again would be 480Y, 277, most likely for 277-volt lighting and smaller 480-volt loads than what it would be found in the eyeline panel. At the bottom of the middle section is a low voltage dry type transformer with a 480 volt three phase three wire delta primary and either a 208Y 120 volt three phase four wire or a 120 slash 240 volt single phase secondary based on what the customer needs require. Then at the far right are four NQ panel boards which if the secondary voltage of the transformer was 208Y120, would be controlling 208 volt motors and 120 volt outlet circuits or receptacles. Or if the secondary of the transformer was 120 slash 240 volt single phase, then the NQ panel boards would be controlling 240 volt motors and 120 volt receptacle outlets. Keep in mind that all of these components in this integrated equipment are pre-installed and pre-wired at Schneider Electric's factory. This significantly reduces on-site labor costs and startup time for the customer. These five items are the typical reasons that customers purchase integrated equipment. As you all know, reducing space in gear rooms is a commodity for almost all customers. Reduced labor cost is significant to all customers as well. By material handling, what we're saying is that this, pack, this product comes in one package, all pre-assembled as to opposed to all of the different components. Quality control, all of these components are tested in this in-use piece of equipment at our factory. And but by design flexibility, we mean that if a certain customer changes the layout of their facility, we can easily redesign that product to accommodate their needs. When we talk about logistics, since integrated equipment is pre-assembled, pre-connected, many customers have a standard floor plan for their facilities. If you think about various retail customers around the United States, most of them all have at least one similar floor plan or maybe one or two or three similar floor plans. This gives them the ability to run all of their electrical equipment to one central location where the integrated equipment is going to be located and essentially plug and play this product into their construction process. As this slide indicates, integrated equipment meets all of the industry standard testing requirements, but probably most important thing here is that they are factory tested as opposed to a contractor taking all of the individual components that we saw earlier, panel boards, transformers, lighting controls, etc., and assembling them on site. Even though all of these components would carry the various compliance labels, they have not been tested together 
in this type of application, whereas they have been tested at the factory in integrated equipment. 